Webb gives us an update on events still going on around the state. Next, with all the travel changes the pandemic has caused, why not take a little drive to Oakley, Kansas to experience small town living. On the front porch, we are at LCL Buffalo Ranch. Then the witty Ron Wilson is back and we end with a glimpse at what the virtual Kansas Music Hall of Fame induction ceremony will look like this year. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas located on three main highways, I-70, US 83, and US 40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP. That brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Deb Goodrich. Welcome to Around Kansas. Well, it's that time of year when we have a lot of things going on. Maybe not quite as many as usual because of the circumstances, but there's still some events. And I want to share this one with you. The Tri-State Antique Engine and Thresh Threshers Association Incorporated. This is happening in Bird City on July 30th, 31st, and August 1st. And that doesn't even begin to describe all the stuff that will be going on that weekend. We will be there on Friday of those events for uh, the Fort Wallace Memorial Association. We will have a booth and we will be selling raffle tickets for our buffalo hunt. And that Buffalo Hunt prize package is well over $10,000 with the hunt, the gun, the hide, the mount, the meat, just on and on and on. It's a spectacular gift package. And the hunt will actually be at Ken Clem's Ranch north of Goodland. And you can set up that time anytime you like with Ken once you win. So we'll be selling tickets there. Um, visit their website and follow on Facebook for more information, but hope to see you. It's going to be amazing. And again, you know, outside. So the social distancing is not such a problem. And Bird City, way up in Northwest Kansas, beautiful, beautiful part of the state. So I hope you can make it up for that. I have another book to tell you about too. My friend Alice Hill um, just finished this. Alice is one of those people I admire most in this world. She is an incredibly accomplished woman. If Alice had an army, she would rule the world. She is just unbelievable. This is a story I was not familiar with. Under a full moon, the last lynching in Kansas. So it's a very sad story, again, from northwestern Kansas. It will surprise you in its poignancy. And I think Alice has just done a remarkable job with it. And I highly recommend it. It's available on Amazon. And if you've got a new book to talk about, let me know if you've got a new CD. Because you all know I love music. And you're going to be hearing about some more of that um, later on in the show. About the uh, Kansas Music Hall of Fame virtual inductions this year. You know, some days I feel like I virtually have a life, you know, almost. And I've got a segment coming up about um, our hometown of Oakley, Kansas. And, you know, Oakley was not named for Annie Oakley, though we celebrate her, and I hope she would appreciate it. So lots of good things going on. Please share your good news with us on Facebook. Send me an email. And, you know, maybe we can uh, give you a shout out here on Around Kansas. I do want to give a shout out to my friend Carolyn Applegate up in Norton. I got the uh, issue of the Norton County Magazine the other day. 
and she said that the um, final issue for the uh, fall and winter will be the last one. And I'm very sorry to see that because she's done an amazing job with that publication. So well done. But Carolyn, I hope you'll stay in touch and hey to Farmer Stan. We'll be right back. Stay with us. In 1821, a trade route was opened from Missouri in the United States across prairies and mountains to Mexico. In 2021, we will mark 200 years of epic conflicts and grand adventures, larger than life personalities and sweeping landscapes. Join us on an historic journey. The Santa Fe Trail lives on. Find us on social media or santafetrail.org. Okay, looks like it's time for our tour. Welcome to the Fort Wallace Museum. Here at the museum, you're gonna find some really interesting stuff like our replica stagecoach from the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. We've got facades from the fort buildings. And we've got an 1870s flag. There's a plesiosaur that was discovered locally. We've got the Ray Pump Organ Collection. We're a little bee place with a great big story and we'd love to have you. Watch Ag AM in Kansas online at agamincansas.com. Highways 40, 83, and I-70 come together right here in Oakley. Roads that lead to businesses, to magnificent rock formations, to scenic vistas, to places where legends were made. Roads that lead us home. Discover Oakley, the gateway to western Kansas. This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Many of you in Kansas know what it's like to live in a small town. You know, the other day when the wind was blowing so hard, the kids' waiting pool blew out into the street and my neighbor put her hazard lights on, stopped and picked it up and put it in the garage for me. Another day, the wind had blown down the American flag from the porch and our local policeman stopped, took the flag off, folded it up and put it safely on the porch. You know, just things that happen in a small town. Dr. Jake was on his way to have the truck repaired the other day and it died at the intersection. He goes to the guy behind him and said, you know, the truck's dead. You can either go around me or uh, push or pull me across. And the guy said, I'll be glad to pull you across. So he pulled him through the intersection and on up to, to the garage. So I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to invite you all to Oakley and to share a little bit about what makes this a fantastic town to live in and to visit. Getting outdoors and exploring Kansas means visiting Monument Rocks and Little Jerusalem Badlands State Park. These incredible formations on the Western Vista's historic byway are on nearly everyone's list of must-see sites in Kansas and the High Plains. Not far south of these is historic Scott Lake with its incredible landscapes and El Cuartalejo ruins. When you're planning your trip to this area, make Oakley your headquarters for exploring. Eat a steak or a burger, find a comfy air-conditioned hotel to relax after a day outside, and enjoy the hospitality of this small town that truly is the gateway to Western Kansas. The Buffalo Bill Cultural Center boasts the monumental sculpture of Buffalo Bill Cody, forever hunting buffalo. Created by artist Charlie Norton, the sculpture captures the epic story of the buffalo hunt nearby, where Cody earned the sobriquet of Buffalo Bill by besting his opponent, Fort Wallace Scout Medicine Bill Comstock. The cultural center is more than a visitor center, however. Welcoming folks to the area with a smile and a cup of coffee, the center has become an integral part of the community. Out-of-town visitors are likely to find the locals enjoying a conversation about crops and grandkids or just stopping by to say hello. It is the gathering place where we celebrate weddings, gather for family reunions, and say our final goodbyes. 
The Fick Fossil Museum and the local library are housed in one building surrounded by park and playgrounds. For the families in Oakley or the families passing through, this is the perfect stop to learn about the fossils and local history you'll be visiting and to let the kids run off some energy outside. The Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center beckons visitors from the highway. Everything you need is there, food, fuel, supplies, and now an urgent care for those health emergencies. The urgent care is a welcome addition to an already outstanding facility. We're a small town with the welcome mat rolled out for company. Come for the legend, stay for the day. Better yet, stay for several days as you explore the Western Vistas Historic Byway and all the High Plains has to offer. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. At Farm Credit, we partner with America's farmers who work hard each and every day to grow the food that we all enjoy. It's not an easy task, but it's an important one. Farm Credit is proud to work with farmers and ranchers, lending support in rural America. Highways 40, 83, and I-70 come together right here in Oakley. Roads that lead to businesses, to magnificent rock formations, to scenic vistas, to places where legends were made, roads that lead us home. Discover Oakley, the gateway to Western Kansas. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. This segment brought to you by Bob Schwartz Financial. Values, commitment, transparency. Kansas is still home on the range to the American Buffalo. And at the LCL Buffalo Ranch, located near Clifton, Kansas, you can stop in and view these amazing creatures up close. Casey Amarine is now the manager of the ranch, and he tells us what it's like to work with buffalo every day as compared to cattle. Okay, well, the, the, the difference is obviously they're front heavy. There's a lot more of, of the animal up front than where cattle is more streamlined front, front to back. And then the herd mentality within, the, within those animals is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. The animal itself has a windpipe that's twice as big as a cow's. I read a diary from a little girl in 1836 that was, uh, their wagon train was coming across Nebraska and their wagon train was stopped for three days because a buffalo herd came through and according to her journal, the herd ran the whole time. And so that was probably one of those wow. great big herds of yeah. 10 million or so that you know everybody estimated as as being about 10 million, uh, it, but it took three days running to get past. To get past. Um, so they have a bigger windpipe. Their internal organs are otherwise virtually the same. They have a little bit bigger lung capacity, but mm -hmm. they have the same number of stomachs as a cow. Gestation periods are the same. Yeah. Um, 
they're they're very similar inside. Mm -hmm. They obviously are much quicker. Uh, they both animals have a lot of power, really. But a buffalo can just we when we've been working them, we can see those thousand twelve hundred pound two year old bulls. They'll just drop their head and then lift their head up. They can throw another animal six or eight feet up into the air just with their with their front wow. quarter. They're just that strong. It's got to be something to see. It is. And do, do you need more people when you work buffalo? It's helpful. Yeah. It's helpful because they are obviously quick. They do not like to be confined at all. Cattle don't probably appreciate it either, but for a buffalo, it really works them up. And so it's really helpful there, you know, and they get to running back and forth. And, and the old saying goes that you can drive a buffalo anywhere he wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so it gets pretty, it can get difficult at times. And, and there'll be one or two that sometimes just decide that's it. And they, uh -huh. they I'm just will stand there and, and they're holding their ground, you know, and if you try to get close to them, they're going to charge you. And so wow. it hasn't happened to me in a while. And part of that is I understand the animal better, but in the first few years of working, um, there's been a couple of times where I've high jumped those <laughs> six and a half foot yeah. You know, and, and yeah. you hear you're looking at me, you know I'm not a high jumper. <laughs> <laughs> so So you you had more ability than you realized. Uh, adrenaline you needed uh, to. Yeah, adrenaline is a fantastic thing. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> but uh lately, you know, we've we've and usually when you're working them, for the most part, they want to get away from you. They don't wanna come attack you. There are a few instances. Um one time we were working them and it was just it was the place was a mud hole uh -huh. and we had finally gotten a couple of them to go out the gate down the alley and so I was running over there to try to close the gate so that they wouldn't uh, get back and the mud because they'd sloshed through there so much it was about a foot deeper and I just got bogged down uh -huh. and then here they came running back uh -huh. and I had I had a I had I was able to grab the the gate just enough and kind of get it between me and them and I, and I could tell that they weren't going to stop. And uh -huh. I, was, I was able to kind of hold on to the fence, and they smashed into that fence and threw, you know, it threw me off. And so I landed in the mud face down, and I rolled over, and there set the fence over the top of me, and the buffalo was on the one side, and I was on the, you know, and so I rolled the other way, and, and he wasn't really after me. He was just trying to get back out of right, there. If, right. If he would have been after me, I might have been in real trouble. Oh, man. Um, Scary, though. Yeah. The LCL Buffalo Ranch is open for tours and also offers four museums, which display antique automobiles, wagons, and farm implements, all collected by their founder, Lester C. Lawrence. Find more information about the LCL Buffalo Ranch on Facebook. I'm Bob Swartz, and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency. Sure Crop Fertilizers was started by my father, Don Sherman, and my mother, Shirley Sherman. Family business has started in the 80s. We predominantly focus on plant nutrients and what we can do to give growers better responses for with the fertilizer dollars that they do and what we can do to you know, make those things work better for the grower. We're based out of Seneca, Kansas. We work with growers in their soil analysis to figure out what they need, and then we can put those in a blend that gives them the best results and so that we can deliver that direct to their farm so that they have those nutrients where they need them, when they need them, and so that they can apply them in a manner that's, that's very efficient to them and, and works well on their planting systems and what they're doing. Sure Crop Fertilizers has been around for a long time. We always say we're, we're big enough to take care of everything you need, but yet we're small enough to do it quickly. You can get a hold of us at 1-800-635-4743. Um, our website is surecropfertilizers.com. And you can always email me at corey at surecropfertilizers.com. And with any questions you have, we'd be glad to answer and work with you. This segment brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook. Let us help feed your family. 
One of my favorite themes is cowboys and technology, probably because I'm technologically challenged. Even the simple cell phone can sometimes befuddle me. And it inspired me to write the following poem. It's called The Smartphone, Dumb and Dumber. They showed me a new smartphone down at the cell phone store. They said it could check email and take pictures and do more. It had so many features that I almost forget. You could get a bunch of apps and surf the internet. So I bought that brand new cell phone, even though it made me nervous. The next Sunday, I was sitting in our Sunday church service. The preacher was a going on his Sunday sermon thing when that cell phone chose that very time in which to ring. Well, my face got all red and I fumbled for my phone and turned the darn thing off to stop the noxious tone. After the service, I said that I was sorry to the preacher, but he was very gracious about my interrupting feature. It was the next morning I rode out to check the cattle, to look for newborn calves and to fight the coyote battle. The herd was fine, but when I got my horse back to the stalls, I checked the time on my phone and found I'd missed three calls. My wife had called from town about a part that we were needing, plus the order buyer called and a man about cattle feeding. I was so disgusted to have missed those calls for sure, but the phone was all turned off from what I'd done the day before. And that is how it's gone with this cell phone ever since. It's always the wrong way, which always makes me wince. How can it be that this is how it's always gone? When I want it on, it's off, and when I want it off, it's on. There must be something wrong with this phone, at least in part. I thought the dadgum salesman said this stupid phone was smart. I was cussing out this cell phone. I was really on a tear. Then my wife made some comment about operator error. So I think the time has come, even though it is a slam, to admit this dadgum smartphone is smarter than I am. Happy trails. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn for livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com. At Farm Credit, we partner with America's farmers who work hard each and every day to grow the food that we all enjoy. It's not an easy task, but it's an important one. Farm Credit is proud to work with farmers and ranchers, lending support in rural America. Kansans have a new choice for Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans. With Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans from Kansas Farm Bureau, you have access to four levels of coverage, affordable rates, and service from an organization that served Kansans for more than 100 years. For more information on Kansas Farm Bureau Medicare Supplement Plans, including rates and to apply, visit kfbhealthplans.com. This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Kansas Music Hall of Fame annual induction was scheduled for the first weekend of May this year. And of course, we weren't able to do that. But that doesn't stop this dedicated group and it certainly doesn't stop the music. So you will have the opportunity um, this week to attend a virtual Kansas Hall of Fame induction with some virtually awesome music. Due to the restrictions on social gatherings and health concerns, the 2020 Kansas Music Hall of Fame virtual induction ceremony will live stream on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, July 25th, announced Kansas Music Hall of Fame President Alan Blasco. Alan promises that it will be a well-produced show with performances by several of the inductees. And best of all, it's free. The inductees are excited about this opportunity to celebrate the rich musical culture of our state and to share with an even broader audience the talents of these groups and individuals. The Kansas Music Hall of Fame was founded in 2004 by the late Bill Lee, Past inductees include the band Kansas, Martina McBride, Melissa Etheridge, Chuck Mead, Dwayne Bailey, Dan Crary, Sam Ramey, Oren Friesen, Mike Finnegan, Eric Bicalis. Musicians 
and related professions from all musical genres. Inductees are nominated by and voted on by the membership. To join, visit ksmhof.org. The 2020 inductees are Jay Mowbray from Wichita, Terry Swope from Kansas City, Byron Burline from Caldwell, Midnight Flyer from Salina, Johnny Taylor from Kansas City, The Embarrassment from Wichita, Kevin Mahogany, Kansas City, Cruzen from Lawrence and Topeka, Donnie Miller of Coffeeville will receive the Bill Lee Award, and Dean Kranzler of Salina will receive the Bob Hapgood Award. Performing on July 25th, induction ceremonies will be Jay Mowbray and Terry Swope, Byron Burline, Midnight Flyer, Cruzen, and Donnie Miller. Don't miss this opportunity to share this exciting evening. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Okay, looks like it's time for our tour. Welcome to the Fort Wallace Museum. Here at the museum, you're going to find some really interesting stuff like our replica stagecoach from the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. We've got facades from the fort buildings. We've got an 1870s flag. There's a plesiosaur that was discovered locally. We've got the Ray Pump Organ Collection. We're a little bit place with a great big story and we'd love to have you. In 1821, a trade route was opened from Missouri in the United States across prairies and mountains to Mexico. In 2021, we will mark 200 years of epic conflicts and grand adventures, larger than life personalities, and sweeping landscapes. Join us on an historic journey. The Santa Fe Trail lives on. Find us on social media or santafetrail.org. Highways 40, 83, and I-70 come together right here in Oakley. Roads that lead to businesses, to magnificent rock formations, to scenic vistas, to places where legends were made. Roads that lead us home. Discover Oakley, the gateway to western Kansas. Watch Ag AM in Kansas online at agamincansas.com.